A lot of activity this past week at the state capitol on property taxes with a coalition coming together between urban and rural lawmakers. Could it provide some relief for farmers? Here's more. It's the biggest thing out here. As a farmer, he feels it. And as a state senator, he hears about it. And everywhere I go, people are looking for property tax relief. And as he tells constituents in Aurora, lawmakers may be closing in on a deal. We're putting together, it's four or five bills will be hopefully put together in a package and sent to the floor as a, as a group. First is the governor's plan to gradually lower income tax rates as long as the state's economy is growing. Second, farmland would be valued based on income potential. As those valuations over those 10 years went up 252 percent. But if we'd had this Agland valuation in place, those valuations only would have gone up 36 percent. It would have really controlled the growth of those valuations. Again, being more predictable and stable for our farmers and ranchers. And the component freeze in favors, schools will limit how much of their funding comes from property taxes. To make up the difference, money currently used for property tax credits would go directly to schools. I've always said that that's mainly my focus is how do we fund K through 12. But both education and farm groups question the plan. It's too little too late at this point. There will be some producers that won't make it through this year, they'll, there'll be farm sales. Senator Friesen says income tax cuts may not be the priority for farmers, but he says that appeals to urban lawmakers and makes it more likely to get property tax relief included. I look at it as if we can form a coalition to get this done. Thanks for joining us, and as we close tonight, a big thank you to everyone who works in Nebraska agriculture, certainly our farm and ranch families, but also the bankers, the co-op folks, everyone who works in support of our farm and ranch families. Thank you for all you do. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one.